pieces of original 140 literature. This is the, the 140 owner's manual that was shipped new with my tractor. I'm the second owner. Here's some of the original paperwork here. Uh, still the key and then uh, the, the original owner had made some notes in it and some receipts. But uh, all the, the original 1973 140. And so he got this in March of 1974. It was a, a 1973 leftover. And then here is one of the, the mower manuals that I have and you can see this has the old style uh, 140 grill on it right here and really in 1964 the only thing that was changed besides the the markings here and the nose was that it went from 6 volts to 12 volts but mechanically it was still the same in 1964 and to be honest with you when the 140 came out in 1958 the mechanics of this tractor were very similar and very little was changed, if anything, from the 130, which was the previous model tractor. So it was just sheet metal and it was updated uh, to reflect the, the styling of the current uh, 465 60 series tractors. And the Cub had the same kind of grill uh, added as well. And to be honest with you, I sold this whole nose assembly last year for about $600. And it may or may not be a lot of money, comparatively speaking, to what things are going for now, but uh, it seemed like a lot of money to me last year for $600 just for the four bar grill, the screen in behind, and the top and bottom sheet metal here, along with this, this small piece of metal that goes along the bottom, and a lot of those, those chins are gone. Um, so if you see a tractor that looks like it's missing something, uh, it probably is, and, and that's pretty common. You see it with the 340s a lot too, that they're missing that little chin down on the bottom and you can you can re, you could buy replacements but uh, obviously nothing is as good as the original and here's one more piece of original literature that I have uh, this is all the parts and this, this has everything that was offered and all the parts and pieces uh, so you could still go into I believe you can go into Messex online and, and and I've gotten some parts from them so you just give them the part number that you want and they'll either give you the, the substitute or they'll actually have the original one. So uh, still a lot of those parts are available. I think I could speak for probably a lot of uh, rurally raised kids. Uh, the three TRs that have fascinated me since I was a little kid are tractors, trucks and trains. And ever since I was little, I remember going to the dealerships and I would always grab a fistful of, of brochures and. Usually the, de the dealer didn't care, but if you were at the fair or something, they only brought just so many. Sometimes they would give you a scowl, but uh, I have a lot of original brochures for International and John Deere, mostly. I do have some others, but uh, where it's cold this winter, I'm going to share some of those with you. And I have a lot of the International Buyer's Guides, but uh, 5 Mall 51 has kind of got that, that covered. So I, I don't want to step on his toes at all. So if you want to see the International Buyer's Guides, Check out Farmall 51's uh, YouTube channel. He's got he's got most of those listed there. But I've got a lot of the, the parts and pieces, tractors, uh, implements, and uh, you know just oddball things that over the course of the winter I'm going to try to share with you. So I'll upload those to the channel. It's really kind of cold to do much out in the garage and with fibromyalgia and and some other things that I have. I don't, I don't do well with the cold so. I'm just going to share with you some of my, my brochures, and this is a, a 73 140, again this was changed in 64, uh, but only really the 6 volt to 12 volt, and this grill, and the sides. Now I want to show you what something on this tractor is, I believe it was 68, they went international on the side instead of Farmall, but they kept the Farmall down here on the side for a couple more years, and it might have been 74 when, when the Farmall name itself went away. So I just want to Again, show you those of you who haven't seen this. These are the original decals on this tractor. And I'm the second owner of this tractor. It was bought brand new up in, in, uh, in Maine, Savatis. And you can see the phone number. I actually had some old decals on a John Deere uh, that the dealership would give me. And it just said dial seven and then three or four numbers. So back then you would just dial the number and get the operator and tell them what you wanted. But uh, original, original, everything's original on this tractor. Uh, so. Very, very cool to have. Really like this tractor a lot, and, and compared to a Cub, it's it's night and day difference. And so in the late, the late models of the 140s, they had a spin-on filter and some of the, the canister one. So uh, just something interesting. And some people have have, have uh, I've seen 
you know, the, the cultivators on the late Cubs and 140s were white and the shanks and shovels were black. Uh, whereas the earlier ones, they were this, this IH blue right here. You can kind of see that still. Uh, but uh, nothing really changed mechanically. They just kind of changed the paint scheme. And this color red right here is the newer color red, the 2150. is different than the older uh, reds that were on the late 40s and early 50s of these tractors. And that was more of a deep red and it probably had more black in it. Uh, but much deeper and I actually like that old color red better than the 2150 to be honest with you uh, some people feel differently about that but uh, I really do like that color here without any, any further you gap out of me uh, let's get to the 140 brochure and so I've, I've timed it to about 20 seconds a page but you can always pause it and, and read pretty well through with that um, look forward to more coming and again if you haven't already please take a moment and hit subscribe to the channel and let's get to the brochures